everybody. Welcome back. This is Tinker77. Today we're going to do something a little bit different. As you can see, I am in snapshot 18w08b. This is a pretty cool snapshot. They've added in this fish mobs. So the fish swim around. And so what we're going to do today is something that I've seen a lot of other people uh, do. So it's nothing new. Uh, it is to create an aquarium in creative mode, okay? So we're going to do that in just a second. Before I get started, I want to say, hey, if you would please click that like button and also subscribe. Uh, I'm trying to reach my 1,000 subscribers so that I can then get into YouTube's good graces. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you can search about 1,000 subscribers on YouTube and I'm sure you'll find it. So please do that. That would be great. Thank you very, very, very much. Okay, going on, we're going to make this world together. Okay, so we're going to go single player. We're going to do create new world. We're going to give us a title called the Aquarium. We're going to do it in creative mode. More world options. We do not want structures, okay? No structures. We're going to go super flat world, and we're going to customize it. Now, by default, it uses grass, two layers of dirt, and a bedrock. But we're going to change it. We're going to go to presets. Up here, you can change your preset to be whatever you want. And I have one pasted out here in my clipboard. It's bedrock, then 10 layers of iron block, then a layer of sand, and then we're going to make it a biome of desert. And there it is, sand iron and bedrock okay so we're gonna hit done here we're gonna create the new world now right away things are gonna happen that I don't want to have happen so we're going to change that immediately the big thing is monster spawning and usually you'll see slimes and things spawn pretty much right away see what I mean so we're gonna first of all do a game rule you got remember to hit tab I keep forgetting to do that so bear with me we're gonna do mob spawning tab false tab okay now they're all gone as far as spawning, but there's still some out here. So we're going to do a, again, we're going to do a kill command. You we want entities, okay? And I believe it's an equals and then a bracket, okay? And this one is, uh, I can't remember. It's, what is it, player? No. Um, or is it the other way? Oh, tight, that's right. I'm, there it goes. So see, it, it didn't bring that up before, but that's okay. Type equals, and right here we want players. But we want anything that's not the player. See, this is player. See the little exclamation mark at the beginning? That means not Minecraft player. We'll close the bracket here. And it will kill them all. Ready? Boom. They all die. Now, some of them will split up. If there were any out there that um, had, like, uh, there was a big one that went to smaller. So I'm going to hit this a couple times. See? There. No more entities found. They're all dead. All right. Now, that's the first thing I want to do. Next thing I want to do is that the sun is moving. And I want this to be, always be daytime. So we're going to basically do, again, another game rule, do daylight cycle, false. So now the sun is no longer moving, and then now we're going to want to set the time. So I believe it's 6,000. Uh, is that it right? That puts the sun right above us. There we go. So now we have a nice, clean world. The next thing we can do is we can start to set up the actual aquarium. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to do something that's kind of for aesthetics, and that's with the glass block. This is I'm still in the vanilla uh, texture pack, but this looks really ugly. If you can see this block, this glass block is hard to see through and that sort of thing. So I've gone out and I've downloaded uh, a little small thing called Vanilla Tweaks, and I've only picked up a clear glass. So if I go to re resource pack here, it says it's not compatible, of course, because we're in a snapshot. But I'm going to bring it over, and it's loaded over here. It loads pretty fast. It only has one texture swapped out, and that's the glass texture. But now you can see it looks nice and clearer, and that's what we're going to use for this project. Okay, so um, if you want, I'll leave a link to the vanilla tweaks where I got that from in the description, and then you can get that yourself if you'd like to see that or any of the other tweaks that are there. Okay, let's get ready to build this aquarium. All right, I've flown up kind of high. Okay, so we're out of the way. You can see all the sand looks kind of bland. We're going to use some fill commands here. So we're going to do a fill. And what I'm doing is going to have it set to where I think it should be. So sorry, at layer 12 is 0, 12, 0. We're going to go over 40 blocks. We're going to go up to 36 height. And we're going to go over 20. And this will be Minecraft glass, OK? And there it is. Boom. So we have this big area of glass. You can see what it looks like here, OK? Now we want it, of course, to be hollow. So we have to do the same thing again, the same command here. But instead, on this side, we're going to go up by one of these numbers. And these, we're going to go down by one. And that way, it'll be kind of like inset into where we are. And I'll say air. You ready? Boom. And there we go. We have an aquarium. And that's it. 
That's really cool. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to start to work inside of here, making things that I think should be in an aquarium. And that'll be the next step. And then once we get done with that, we will add water, and then we'll add the fish, and we'll have fun with our little aquarium. Here we are. We're inside the uh, aquarium right now. What I wanted to do here, and I set up a little bit of areas, I really wanted to make the first piece of our aquarium, and that is the little castle. You always have a little castle that the fish seem to swim in and out of. And I've made some uh, templates of where I want things to go. Right here, I want a nice square 3x3 three three tower going up. Here, I want kind of like the normal, what you would think of with like a, a doorway and uh, like a normal size thing for the castle. And then this side, I wanted a 5x5 five five tower. Really, it's 3x3, three three, but I wanted to give it a more circular look and I have a nice little point on the top of it. So that's what I had planned. And so I've just put this foundation down so I can kind of lay out in my head where I want things to go. So as you can see here, I'm just going to do some stuff up here. We'll make like a... Um, like the archway and we'll put some other decorative blocks in here i just want to get this kind of framed if you will um so we'll do that we'll do up here we'll make this like a normal doorway for a person to go through and we'll do that on all sides here you can see what i'm trying to do here though i'm trying to make a nice structure for a castle and uh over here same kind of idea only it'll be three by three well it's really yeah three on the outside but it'll be more circular looking. And we'll make this nice little castle. So let me just uh, work on this for a little bit and see what we can come up with. Here's a bit of a progress update for you. I changed out the floor to be this polished granite. I figure it'll look kind of like it's uh, not part of the actual landscape. And we'll put landscaping around this. I haven't done that yet. So I have my center big tower here. You can see that. And then here's the side tower with a very sharp point. The other one's going to have more of a sloped point that I want to do. But I've tried to change up the textures. You know, I'm not very good at the uh, decorative stuff, so uh, bear with me on this. But I've tried to make a place that looks kind of fun. Now, if you recall, if you ever have, a, have ever had a fish tank, um, usually the back sides are like hollow so that the fish can go around and that sort of thing. So that's what we're doing here. So we got nice spaces where they can go through. Um, we'll see if that actually happens when we get it all done. But uh, yeah, like this block this seems to be out of place. Let's take care of that. Okay, so I'm going to work on making this other tower here. Um, this one, I want to go a little bit higher. And uh, then we'll have this whole castle done. So I think the castle's about done. I don't like the roof so much, but it's okay. It'll work. Um, but yeah, it has a section over here and back here. You can see it looks like a large tower. I think it looks like a really, really, really cool. That's a lot of reallys. Really cool looking uh, tower for a fish tank, okay? Nice big castle. And we're going to have to work on next is going to have to work on making the terrain around here. I want like a little bit of a hill here. we got to have... Um, a treasure chest and maybe some bones or something um, like a, you know shark bones or something like that so we got to fill this in and make it look a little better before we do the water so let me uh, work on some more of this I think I'm going to do some decorations first and some train management here as everyone is aware I'm not great at doing decorations so I am just working with it trying to do some things I made kind of an outline of a hill that I want here uh, in this corner it's not going great, but it's going okay. Of course, I see how this is all the same material. I just kind of like specked out it, 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 what I want it to kind of look like. And I'll change this up by adding some other blocks in here. So I'm just kind of trying to do like random things, like making some different blocks and, you know, like this. And I'll switch off, you know, and try not to get like too many blocks that are close together that are the same type. And I'm going to try to make this hill look right now. I know it looks kind of weird right now. Like that doesn't look good there. But I, it's just, it's, it's a new experience for me trying to make uh this work you know um so <laughs> you have to forgive me because it doesn't look great but it'll it'll hopefully look good once i get my eye on it and uh, can tweak it somewhat but you know i can see some some things here and it's not looking bad so let me try to work on this some more see what i can get with this hill get this other hill done and then we're going to work on some other things in this area so here I have this uh, hill. It looks pretty good. It kind of transitions over to here, which is good. Now you're hearing water sounds, and that's because I tried to do a little bit of an experiment with this thing. It's not great, but it's uh, supposed to be a chest. It's kind of got you know trimming on it, and like it's supposed to be like a clasp or something in it. In it. But anyway, I have made two, and this is what's really strange. I've made two um, holes, and all the way down, goes down like three or four blocks, and there's a magma block. And what's interesting is I have water there, but the water isn't showing, and I don't know why. And every so often, you'll hear it do a, you hear a uh, psh sound, as it like it's putting out fire. And I don't know what that is. So if I put water back here, it's very strange behavior. 
But it's just like it's putting out a fire and then the bubbles stop. I hope it does it while I'm doing this view here. It's very strange. Yeah, hear it? And now the bubbles stop. It's very strange behavior. This is something to do with the snapshot, no doubt. And they will have this fixed before it gets into an actual release. But I was hoping that this will be eventually produce bubbles that will go all the way to the top uh, once uh, you know we fill this all in with water. Okay, I'm going to do some more decorating. We'll be back. Okay, I think I've done pretty well with the, the uh, decorations. The chest is there. The corners and the back here. I've kind of done what I want. Just give it a little bit of a look that it's there. I don't want to add too much because I really want this to uh, have the fish, the showcase, not really the what you did in it. Um, I do want to do some things, though, here with um, soul sand. I'm going to put some soul sand down here. Now, if you know about soul sand and uh, magma blocks, they make uh, bubbles of different types. So I'm just kind of placing this around here. This is doing this before we uh, get to the point of adding uh, the water. So let's put one here. So probably one right there. Up more over here. We're going to add this in. It's going to be really cool. And I think one of the next things we're going to do is going to be adding water to this whole system. So let's just start adding some of these magma blocks here. You can hear that one just went out. I'm going to put another one. Let's put one right there. Uh, you know, just doing different places. And this is how I've been doing most of it uh, throughout the day here is just grabbing some spots and just kind of messing with it, you know, and uh, make it messy but yet really cool, I think. Okay, so um, I would like to have some like come out of here or out of here maybe. So let's see here. Let me uh, put one there. And we'll put like a couple more right there. Just uh, let the water kind of do it, do its thing. Okay, okay. So in just a second, we're gonna do adding in the water. And here we are, ready to do the water. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go, to go along this side here, just like this. And you can see it starts adding the water, but then as I go along this side, it actually spreads out automatically, which is really good. So if I'm gonna go across here, we're gonna do this whole entire long side. And you can kind of see it slowly fills in. Isn't that really cool looking? I think it looks really cool. And there it goes, that final corner is all but filled in. Superb. Now, there will be spots in here where we don't have what we uh, like. Look at all the bubbles and the bubble sounds. See how we don't like these uh, spots here. So I'm gonna use the water bucket and I'll just kinda go around and clean this stuff up to make it look better, okay? Look at the bubbles, isn't that cool? Okay, let me uh, clean all this water up and then we'll do the next part. Doesn't that look much better? To me, it looks great. So what we're gonna do here, we're gonna add some decorations here. I wanna have like a, I'm gonna put an armor stand down. Every time I pass through those bubbles, it makes that kind of a sound. That's okay though. There we go. We're dressing these guys up. I thought I would need two sets of armor. I thought I would take it out of the inventory, but that's okay. You know, there we go. So two guys over there. Okay, now, the next thing I wanna do here is I wanted to start to get some of the grasses. So we're going to get some grass. If we're going to get the uh, sea grass, right? And I believe there's a tall one. Is there a way to do the tall one? I'm not sure. Let's see here. So you can put this right there. Okay, yeah. Come on. Put it down. Can't put it on half slabs, so you know. I, or stairs. I've been trying to do that. <laughs> so. Yep, that, the, uh, the uh, soul sand does uh, pull you down sometimes. Uh, that's what has been happening with me here. Uh, and it looks like we're out of flight mode. There we go. So I'm going to go around. I'm going to add in various pieces of grass and that sort of thing. And uh, the long grass. And make it look really, really underwatery, uh, Like a, an underwater environment that you would think you'd have. Man, it's noisy. Uh, normally in an aquarium. Okay. So let me uh, get that done here. And I'll be right back. Well, here we go. It's looking really good. I really like it. I like how it has all the... Uh, the bubbles and the uh, the seaweed going up to the top. It's really cool. I like how it's low grass and tall grass and we have a chest and we have some mountains here and some stuff. But now it's the time where we're going to have fish and we're going to add in a bunch of fish. We have cod, we have pufferfish, and we have salmon. Okay, 
So I'm just going to start to add in some fish here. Here we go. Add in a bunch of fish. Add some salmon. We'll add some puffer fish. Okay, let's go back here. Every time I swim through those things, it's kind of weird, but that's okay. And we'll just kind of watch what happens. I think these fish will start to get grouped together. Some of them will go down low. Let's put some more down here. So they're going up, some of them. There we go. Let's go watch and see what happens here. Oh, there it is. See, they kind of school together. And that's good. That's fine. <laughs> this is fun. Let's put some more fish down. Let's put a bunch. See, they kind of go off in their own direction. Oops. So if you get into a, uh, <laughs> a soul sand thing, it takes you up like that. And you can see I also got poison from puffer fish. Look at that. We've got a nice little aquarium. I've taken a potion of night vision just so I can kind of lighten this up a little bit and look from the outside. And you can kind of see, it looks like a nice castle there. It looks really, really cool. Now there are some little things that go on with the water um, as far as rendering, and that's okay. We know that that's part of the problem with the snapshot and they'll be fixing that. But what do you think? You like this? This is like a really, really, really cool aquarium. Let's uh, see if we can get a screenshot here. I need to have a screenshot anyway. Let's see if I can go down in here and get a screenshot. What do you think? Screenshot from over this way, maybe, at the castle? Yeah, here we go. You ready? It's a nice screenshot. There we go. So, yeah, this is uh, my little creation. It's uh, hard for me to do creative like things like this that aren't more technical and redstone-y and stuff. So, um, this has been a lot of fun for me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this has been, like I said, a lot of fun. So if you like this video, please click that like button. Also, if you have any comments, please put them down in the comment section. And once again, I really desperately need subscribers based on the new policy changes by YouTube. So please, if you're here, subscribe to this channel. Show me some of that love, and I will greatly appreciate it. And hopefully things will be coming out a little bit sooner and quicker as time progresses. We're going to be doing some vanilla server stuff in just a little bit. So uh, stay tuned, okay? And then tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern, this is Sunday, I will be streaming. My normal streaming schedule is uh, Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays at 7 p.m. And I go for a couple hours or more, depending on what goes on. And this is that's uh, twitch.tv slash tinker77live. So there you go. Okay, everybody, I'm out. Have a great day. Bye-bye.